All right, we have Lady Hamilton for this week's You're So Beautiful. And if you're wondering who she is, Lady, Lady Emma Hamilton, she was a muse for, a model and a muse for a painter named George Romney, English painter. And if you're not an artist and you don't know who that is, or if you are an artist and don't know who that is, he's an English painter, did mostly portraits. But she's actually more famous as being a, uh, how do I put this? A demimond. And if you're wondering what a demimond is, uh, <laughs> a mistress for very rich people. How, yeah, that's, that's probably the best way to put it. Okay, let's see what we got here. This time I really drew her too small. A beautiful woman. Yeah, he uh, painted her a bunch of times. It's funny because he did the same thing I do with my models as he... Did sketches of her, a lot of sketches, uh, nude sketches, and clothes sketches. And he used those sketches for um, later reference. So exactly what I do with my models. And forgive me if I'm talking funny, I got a cough drop in my mouth, it's March. And the um, trees are all going crazy, so of course I'm coughing like you can't believe. Yeah, I really did draw this too small. I usually don't do this. I feel the paper better. This is a, this is a mistake on my part, but it's too late to start over. So you'll have to forgive me for this. I really drew this one too small. And this is an oil painting of her of Circe. Circe is one of my favorite fictional characters. She's from um, the Odyssey. If you've ever read Homer's The Odyssey, she was that witch. I don't know if you remember the character, but the witch that um, trapped Odysseus on the island and turned most of her men into pigs. And it may be where we got Holy Moly from because one of his, uh, one of Odysseus's men tipped tipped him off and said, hey, do this, uh, take this moly. And because of the moly plant, he was immune to her spells. So he didn't get turned into a pig. Or maybe it's just coincidental. I don't know. Maybe it's just because holy moly rhymes. But um, if you've never seen this, these video series before, this is a speed drawing exercise where I go as fast as I can. So we're not going for accuracy, we're going for speed. And the reason for this is, um, it's just an exercise, it's, for artists who want to get faster for one reason or another. You know, maybe they have some jerk boss who has a hardcore deadline on them. Or maybe they just want to get faster. Or maybe you all are practicing for, you got a beach gig where you draw people's portraits on the beach. You know, you probably see those all the time. You see them more in Europe than you do in the States.
but I do see them in Galveston, Texas. So I know they do exist in the States and they were common in the malls back in the days. I don't see them too much in the malls anymore because uh, malls are kind of, they're not the same in the States. It's, it's sad, like you go to Europe and malls are still big, but here it's, they're kind of like a dying tradition, which is really sad. I used to work in the malls back in the eighties and malls were so cool. They were, they were where it's at. Nowadays, not so much. So yeah, going back to uh, <clears throat> Lady Hamilton as a demi -mond. She <laughs> had some pretty famous lovers. And she was actually married to Lord Hamilton. I think is really old. And I don't know how to say this, keep it G-rated, but they didn't have a kid together. As far as I know, she had a she had an illegitimate kid with um, the Horatio Nelson, who you've probably heard of, especially if you're into war history. Admiral Nelson, or, or was he Vice Admiral? I don't know, you'll have to correct me on that. I am not the war historian. My, my view in history is more art related. So a lot of you will know war a lot better than I would. But I, I know that he's so famous that I've heard of him. And he was one of the most famous Navy people of all time. I imagine that Navy strate strategist still study him to this day. So I also use very standard equipment. I'm using just copy paper here and I'm using my fingers for smearing. And the reason is I wanna show you that you don't need to buy much to be an artist. You know, like this, this pencil's probably three bucks for 20 of them. I got an eraser here, which is like a buck and this is probably a dollar 99. I mean, they're, I don't know the exact prices, but they're very cheap. Everything you're seeing here is way under twenty dollars total. And that's it. We will let me actually get rid of these guidelines here. But yeah, we just try to go as fast as we possibly can, and we are done. Thank you for subscribing.